wonderful panel of, uh, of designers who have assembled here from 1-800-Lighting.com and Capital Lighting. Great. Well, thank you, Eric, and uh, good afternoon to everybody. Happy Friday. Um, I hope you're having a great day. Uh, so um, today, um, just to give you a little bit uh, on the agenda, I'm uh, just going to give you a, a quick two seconds on Big Couch Media Group and then really get into the aspects of social media. What is social media, the landscape, uh, why is social media important? I mean, why do you care? Right? Why should you care about this? Uh, getting started, and really, uh, today we're going to really be talking about the basics and what I like to call basic blocking and tackling. Um, other social media channels, because I just couldn't help it, um, there's just so much going on in social media that I just wanted to uh, pique your interest in some other areas, uh, tracking and analysis, and then maybe some helpful industry resources that you can use um, after today, and then uh, hopefully we'll have some time for some questions and answers. Um, Big Couch Media Group, um, we're a South Florida-based full-service uh, digital solutions company, and we have the pleasure to uh, be able to work with Capital Lighting and on their social media and other uh, digital marketing programs. So my goal for today is that each of you just learn one thing, something new, and implement it. Just go do one thing. It would really make me happy. Um, I consider myself an evangelist for social media, so I love to have uh, conduct these presentations, whether they're webinars or, or live presentations. So what is social media? Uh, social media is the use of web-based and mobile technologies to turn communication into, into interactive dialogue. And you notice I'm quoting Wikipedia, which is a social media channel. Um, so now we actually uh, use Wikipedia as ways to verify uh, information. In fact, I read a statistic today that uh, in Europe, journalists, over 60% of journalists are using Wikipedia to verify stories and, and that sort of thing. But interactive dialogue, it's really about a conversation. It's not a brochure. It's not one way. It's, it's different. It's a, it's a conversation. So, you know, there's really four pieces of that. It's about engaging. It's about listening. It's about responding. A lot of folks who have implemented uh, social media programs forget that part, the responding, even if, uh, you know, whether it's a negative or positive comment. And then the last piece is learning, that you're constantly learning. So here's the landscape. And uh, this slide has actually changed, um, and uh, I do need to update this. And it's really about conversation, sharing, publishing, and participation. And then within that is building relationships, disseminating and distributing contact, content, um, rating and reviews and tagging, and entertainment. We're really, today, we're going to be focusing on the basics in these three areas. We're not going to be talking about Farmville today, um, although I'm sure a few of you may be uh, very active in Farmville, and there's a lot going on in, in, the, uh, in the entertainment um, sort of arena and social media, but we're really talking about the the, uh, the areas that can impact your business. Uh, social media is device agnostic. We have to get you know clear our minds and start thinking of, about device agnostic, meaning it's content distribution. So you know today we have the uh, the laptop or the PC. We've got our phone. Um, the the rage is the tablet. I mean, that's really the next um, big happening trends in digital is about the tablet and Google TV. Things like uh, that, it's really the convergence of the internet and television. television. So think about your Facebook page on television or people interacting with television shows rating using their Facebook. That is coming. Um, there, there's a lot going on in, in the convergence of internet and television. So why should you care about this? 
Um, so first and foremost, this is the ability for you to bring your products and services to where your target customers are gathering. It's about content distribution. Facebook has over 600 million users, and by the way, 250 million of them joined last year. Uh, LinkedIn now, this was actually just an updated statistic, has over 90 million members, and they're conducting over 200 billion searches. That was just last year, and that number is continuing to grow. Uh, brand reputation management. You've got to be in the conversation. I can't tell you how many C-level executives I've spoken to in the past that say, oh, we don't, we don't do, have a social media program because we don't want people to say bad things about us. Well, guess what? They're going to be talking about you anyway and get in the middle of that conversation. It's very easy for people uh, now to you know, post what they think, positive or negative. Um, SEO, that's search engine optimization, if you've ever heard of that, that term before, and that's a term of how your website or your blog gets higher position in Google or Bing or Yahoo, not on the paid ads, but in the, uh, the natural ads. So the good news is, is that Google loves social media. They, in their algorithm, they're now taking into account your social media activity. So it should be an integrated aspect if you have an SEO uh, uh, program. It's an extremely cost-effective channel to connect and engage with potential customers. And think about this concept of casting a wider net. Why do we, we want to make it easy for people to do business with us? Let them do business with us where they want to. They don't have to come to our website. And by the way, this is not a passing fad. It's only getting bigger. Um, in fact, uh, uh, in the coming weeks, we'll be seeing some announcements from Google and their social media strategy. Uh, they're going to be launching something called Google Circle. So maybe in our next uh, webinar, we can, we can talk about that. So getting started, the basics. Like I said earlier, I'm just talking the basics. This is not the fancy stuff. And if you're not doing this, start doing it. Take it in digestible chunks. And as I said earlier, just do one thing when you leave here today. So we're going to talk about LinkedIn. We're going to talk about Facebook. We're going to talk about Twitter, YouTube, your blog, um, Google Places, um, which is falls in that rating uh, and reviews category that we saw earlier in the landscape. We're going to talk about um, opportunities um, that you can, new opportunities that we're going to present to you today to participate in capital lighting social media. So we're very excited about that. And then, of course, this other stuff that I just, I couldn't help myself. So LinkedIn, why should you care about LinkedIn? Well, it's the largest social net network dedicated to business networking. Um, I could tell you from a, a personal case study uh, we started our company three and a half years ago, and all of our business, even today, even though now the some of the clients we have were referred by other clients, all came from LinkedIn, leveraging my, uh, you know, past uh, past network of uh, business associates. It's a very cost-effective way to introduce your business and service to acquire new customers, make new business contacts and connect with past customers and business associates. We had an event at the Capital Lighting uh, showroom uh, just this past week on Tuesday, and I had a designer come up to me that said she was, uh, she got a LinkedIn request from a guy who was a cabinet, a custom cabinet guy somewhere, and he linked in with her, and now she has the possibility of doing a very large project. So, um, you know, that was just sort of, that's a living uh, case study there. Oh, and by the way, and I'll say this a few times through the presentation, 98% of everything that I'm talking about today is free. Granted, it's resources, whether it's internal, you know, you have to dedicate time or dedicate internal resources, but this isn't paid advertising. This isn't $1,800 a month in the yellow pages. So I'll pretty much, there's a few things that I might recommend that you try that are paid, but for the most part, all of this is free. So um, I'm going to focus in on two areas in LinkedIn. 
first is about your company, and the second is about your personal profile. So on the company side, um, LinkedIn recently enhanced their uh, company profile. So if you have a company profile out there, um, if you did it a while ago, I suggest you go in and um, because they really enhanced it with a lot of features and especially for you know the interior design vertical it's a great place because your your business is so visual so we have the ability now to um, include all of our products and services with very uh, uh, you know deep descriptions and images uh, you can also embed your YouTube videos uh, so um, and we're going to talk a little bit about YouTube. So, you know, one of the things, um, you know, to think about is all of these things actually work together, all of these social media channels. But now LinkedIn allows you to embed your uh, YouTube videos. And um, you have the example here of the Capital Lighting page, which we've been, we've been working on. And you can see here we added, you know, the different categories, and we're going to be building out all of our categories and then all of these category pages have their own pages with their own videos so you can get as uh, fancy as as you want there um, you can have offers so you can have a call to action that says uh, free in-home consultation or whatever your uh, <coughs> excuse me whatever your offer is whatever it is that you use to hook people in you want to have your company address if you have multiple locations you should um, have the multiple locations and it'll have a map. You're going to integrate your Twitter and your blog. Uh, also they added that um, they've always had recommendations on a personal level, but now you can request recommendations uh, at a company level. So that's an opportunity for you, for colleagues or clients to uh, uh, provide recommendations. Um, you want to solicit followers here. And, you know, think about, you know, some people want to, will want to engage with you and follow you on Facebook, and some people are going to want to uh, engage with you and follow you on LinkedIn. So it's not one or the other. You do all of these things because it's really about how people want to engage. And some people, you know, especially for business, use LinkedIn 100%. And then some people on Facebook will do a hybrid, right? Um, you can also target audiences. Um, I haven't really played around with this, but the concept is, is if you have different messaging for different types of audiences, you can set it up in your company profile. We haven't done that for Capital yet, um, but, uh, you, it, but if that's important, you do have the ability to do that. You want to link this back to your website, um, so you'll have your web address in there. And another reason why that's important is uh, in Google's uh, search engine ranking, or better called the popularity contest, because that's what it is, is they look at relevant links back to your website. And because LinkedIn has authority, um, it will help with your uh, search engine ranking. So it's very important. You want to encourage your associates, people who work with you, to link to your company, to say they work there. and and link in. And now they actually um, also you can view uh, analytics. And one of my rule of thumbs is if you can't count it, don't do it. And um, that was always a little bit missing from LinkedIn because you couldn't really see you know, how many people were looking at your profile. You could always look at your web analytics and say how much traffic did I get. But if people didn't actually click to your website, um, you, know, you didn't know who viewed. So uh, they now have analytics. And um, the last point is this is where everything that I've talked about so far, this is all free. Um, but you could test some targeted paid ads. And those are, you pay for those on what is called, a PPC stands for pay per click, meaning if somebody sees your ad and clicks on it, that's when you pay for it. You don't pay for it like a magazine ad, like a placement or you know, that sort of thing, or on impressions. It's only if somebody clicks on it. We've had some, you know, that this is a new platform that they have out there, and um, it could be a great way uh, to, uh, to target. Because 
you are uh, you do have the ability to target by geography or industry or job title now. So um, we've actually been running um, some test campaigns targeted to interior designers to join our pro program. So um, and we're seeing some you know pretty encouraging uh, results there. So uh, something to consider. So your personal profile. So think about uh, and. And you may already do this. So if you meet somebody new, especially a business person, what's the first thing that you do? You Google them, right? Everybody Googles everybody. And because LinkedIn has, uh, has authority, and so, you know, just an example, if you type in George Ann Brown into Google, uh, LinkedIn is the second listing for my name. And it's, I think it's second. But uh, I haven't checked it in the, in the last few days. It kind of moves around. Sometimes it's been above our own company. And so what you want to make sure is that you put your best foot forward, um, that you really have a robust personal profile. The next thing is you want to reach out and build your network through past, present uh, business associates, as well as colleagues and clients. And one of the things that I always recommend to people because I know we've all gotten those LinkedIn requests that has that generic message in it that says, I would like to add you to my personal network. You know, take a little time to say something meaningful in that message. Um, and I've had a lot of success with that because I actually, one of the things that I did, especially I was starting my own business and three and a half years ago I was coming out of corporate America. And I went back, you know, 20 years to people that I had worked with over the course of my career. And so, you know, not all these people remembered me, right? So I have to, you know, I, so I use that personal message to have, you know, my name or however, or however we were associate, uh, associated resonate with, uh, with the individual. And I ha have had great success with that. I mean, I have about 2,500 uh, connections on, on LinkedIn now. Request recommendations. Um, you know, this, in addition to the company recommendations, you also want to get personal uh, recommendations as well. And, um, jo and so the next thing is join related groups. There's a lot of uh, terrific groups on LinkedIn. There's a lot of groups in, in the uh, interior design uh, area or even related industries um, that, uh, and uh, for instance, I think I belong to about you know 20 or 30 you know different groups, and it's been great because that's a great way to ask questions or just be in the know on on new things that are happening. Um, engage with status updates. So for those of you who put your status updates, let's say on your personal Facebook, oh you know like today I. You know, I posted that, you know, my kid, my daughter's home from college. <laughs> I was very excited about that. Um, but engage with status, status uh, updates, business related, on your LinkedIn profile. Um, so it could be things like articles or news or trends or success stories that you've had, uh, whatever, a link to your blog. You could also, you know, have a little snippet uh, in your status update and link to your blog or link to your website or, or something like that. And then uh, you also want to link your Twitter account and your blog. And so uh, it's very easy to do this. We're not going to go in today into kind of the buttonology of, of doing it, um, but if anybody has any questions after this uh, webinar, I would be glad to, you know, help walk through that. Um, but uh, it's pretty easy if you just go into your profile settings to do all those types of things. And then another new thing that LinkedIn uh, rolled out uh, just in the last couple of weeks is what they call skills. So if you, at the very top navigation of LinkedIn, under more, you'll see skills. And really what that does is it allows you to attach certain skills and what, your, what level of expertise you have for that skill. So for instance, for Eric um, from Capital Lighting, you know, retail management. 
and you know how long he's been doing that. And so this is something new that LinkedIn has rolled out, and I suspect that their end game with this is going to be uh, creating sort of this authority and this business. Uh, search engine. So if I want to go into LinkedIn and look for, you know, an interior designer in Boca Raton or wherever in Jupiter, that based on those skills and your expertise and, and, and leveraging that functionality, that you'll sort of come to the higher, you know, higher in the, in the ranking. So again, um, all this stuff is free. Other ways to optimize LinkedIn, they have a lot of applications, and one of the applications that I thought uh, particularly um, that would be good for this group would be the portfolio display. Um, it's a third-party application, it's free, um, and the way you find all of these applications is at the top navigation bar of LinkedIn under More, you just click on Applications. Um, SlideShare is where, uh, for instance, this presentation, I'm going to upload this after to the, after uh, th this uh, is over, this webinar is over, I'm going to upload it to SlideShare. Um, and if you link in with me, you'll, you can have access to it. So I leverage SlideShare to post all of my uh, presentations as well. Um, also, if you're going to be doing events, they have a great events um, application. And you know it's very uh, it's it's very intuitive on how you download and update uh, update these um, applications. Uh, the next thing is um, this concept this concept of authoritative leadership. You know, you are trying to establish yourself as an authoritative leader in an expert in whatever. If it's broad in interior design, or maybe it's very specific, so you can. In order to do that, some strategies to do that, and there's a lot of strategies to build authoritative leadership in, in a particular category, but you can leverage LinkedIn. So LinkedIn has something called LinkedIn Answers, and really that's, so, that's, a, a, that's an area where members of LinkedIn go in to ask questions about anything and everything. Um, and uh, you can search through those questions based on industry and, and that sort of thing. So I, I, I you know, on a regular basis, uh, you know, participate in answering those, the LinkedIn uh, answers, um, you know, on things like, you know, digital media and, and that sort of thing. Um, posting articles. You can also post articles on LinkedIn. And then we talked about groups before joining groups that are out there. But you know what? Start your own group and lead the discussion. It's your group. Um, so uh, again, leveraging LinkedIn to uh, you know uh, create authoritative leadership. Facebook. Uh, you need to create a Facebook fan page. Um, and here's the good news: all of this content that you're creating. So you've got descriptions in in LinkedIn. You're going to have descriptions in Facebook. It's the same content. Um, so you're not creating new content all the time. So again, you need a robust description. You need your contact information. You should have photos. You should have videos. Again, you can also, we're going to talk about YouTube. You can integrate with YouTube videos here on, uh, on Facebook. You want to build a fan base, a fan base of employees, associates, clients. And also related groups. There's a lot of interior design related groups and pages out there, and you guys should all be, you know, working together. Kind of this idea of the rising tide uh, raises all boats. The next thing is once you, you know, build that page and you're building that fan base, you need to engage in conversation, and that means you have to have regular updates. There's nothing more frustrating when I go to a page that I have fanned, that I have liked, and they haven't posted anything new for a month. Oh, and by the way, somebody posted a comment and nobody got back to them. So you do need to make a commitment to this. Uh, so if you don't have a Facebook fan page and you want to uh, create a Facebook fan page, just make sure you make that commitment. You know, 
leverage if you have, you know, if there's two partners in the business or whatever, take turns. Um, or you can outsource it to companies like Big Couch Media Group. We, um, we uh, for instance, for Capital Lighting, we manage all of their uh, Facebook uh, activity. So regular updates, and this would be things like tips, articles, photos, news, PR, and you know, you guys have a lot of great information. I mean, I'm always in awe of, of people in your profession because I can't put the right colors together. And I would say most people are like me. So you really have a lot to talk about. Even if it's the simple thing of finding how do you arrange something nice on a table. I, I can't even do that. Every, you, know, I, I'm, you guys would have a field day at, at my house. Um, and you really need to monitor and respond to all the inquiries. And that means even if it's positive, saying, hey, thanks for that great tip, it, say you're welcome. Because, again, this is a conversation. It's not a brochure. Uh, you want to fan related and partner businesses. Uh, I hope you all are fans of Capital Lighting. And if not, I know after today you will be. And um, the, so everything I've talked about for Facebook, this is all free. Uh, the last thing that I'm going to talk about, just like I did on LinkedIn, they also have paid ad campaigns that work the same way, that only if somebody clicks on it um, do, do you pay for it. So, um, you know, it's a great, that's a very cost effective, uh, just from a marketing spend, it's very efficient, and we've had a really good success across all of our clients with uh, Facebook paid ads. And, you know, one of the reasons is you can be very targeted. And some of us, you know, may think this is Big Brother, but Facebook has a lot of data on all of its members. And so you can be very, very targeted in who you're going after and as well as the messaging. The next thing I'm going to just briefly touch upon, because I don't think it applies totally to this group, but you need to be aware, um, because a lot's happening here, is Facebook places and Facebook deals. They're, they're related. And so this is the entree into what's called location-based services, or the check-in. So you guys may be engaged in checking in on things like Foursquare or Gawala. Those are other two other location-based services. Um, and it's really about checking in and providing offers. So if you have an office or like a showroom where people can come to um, and check in and there can be a conversation there, a, an offer, an engagement, a message, um, you can leverage Facebook places and Facebook deals to do this. So you need to claim your, your business on Facebook places and um, they did uh, recently introduce some new features. Um, we haven't used this yet, so uh, we're, you know, this is something that uh, we're going to be testing in the future. But the ability to import lists and invite contacts to join Facebook places. Um, and uh, the other thing that is coming soon is they're going to be uh, going head to head with Groupon, leveraging Facebook deals. Um, so. Lots to be uh, watching there, and, and I think, as I mentioned earlier, I mean, it's moving at, at lightning uh, speed. Just to, I just want to give you uh, just a little bit of a case study uh, on Facebook deals, and, and the reason that I, I bring this up is just to show you the power of social media, um, not really about Facebook deals, but the Gap uh, last, I believe it was October, launched a nationwide promotion and they said, you know, if you check in on Facebook places in the store, you would have a chance to win 10,000. Uh, they were going to give away 10,000 free pairs of jeans and they did it in 15 minutes. So it's the, just the power of, uh, the, the power of uh, social, social media. Facebook like, uh, if you have a link, uh, if you have a website, excuse me, uh, a website or a blog, um, you should, you should implement the like functionality, and we've probably seen this now. We have it for Capital Lighting implemented on our product pages, but you can also put this on content, so if you have an article or whatever, and basically what happens is 
you, if I like it on Capital Lighting, then what happens is it automatically posts to my Facebook page on whoever liked that. So this happened to be George Ann Brown. That was me. I loved this fine art lamp. And uh, when I liked it, it automatically posted what I liked and a link back to Capital Lighting. So it, I'm now I'm sharing with my hundreds and hundreds of Facebook friends and family uh, the things that I like. Oh, and by the way, because this Facebook is an authority, uh, this is also a great link back to your website and will help with your search engine optimization. Now, this is something that if you, you're going to have to ask the person who manages your website or your blog, and it's a little, it's not hard, but you're going to need somebody with some technical uh, know-how to uh, help you with that. But like I said, it's not hard, it's easy. Um, and it, you know, shouldn't be, should not be costly. Twitter, um, you know, Twitter's the uh, social media channel that's really about short, immediate messages. A lot of companies use it for customer service. Um, a lot uh, used for, like, for a more tactical perspective. If you think about how they used it, um, you know, to, not it wasn't for business purposes, but how they used it in Egypt. They used Facebook to announce the event, and they used Twitter to figure out where they all were, you know, when they were having these, uh, you know, riots on the ground. But you, you know, you want to do the same thing. And there are people who will want to follow you on Twitter and not follow you on Facebook or not follow you on LinkedIn. So um, you want to make sure you have your best foot, best foot forward on Twitter as well. And one of the things we're going to talk about a little later, just as so you're not getting overwhelmed of how am I go going to go and do all these things, I'll give you some little, you know, uh, uh, some little shortcuts that uh, would make it easier for you to get started, um, where you could go to one place and update, and you could publish to all your social media. YouTube. Uh, YouTube is the largest online video community. Um, they get 60 billion videos watched each month. That number is going to grow. Uh, and you know, we talked a little earlier about the convergence of the internet and television. Uh, YouTube is going to be a big strategy for Google um, and, and, and leveraging that convergence. So important for, um, you know, for it. it and, you guys, what you do is visual. Take a, take a, you know, handheld, you know, use a flip and take videos of some of your work. It doesn't have to be a $5,000 produced high def video. Um, actually, some of the more homegrown videos are the ones that get watched. So uh, I think bringing the visual aspect to your work and, and leveraging uh, the YouTube channel is just a great way uh, to uh, build, build your brand. Um, you can build your uh, company uh, YouTube channel and it will integrate with your other social media because we already talked about putting them on LinkedIn and putting them on Facebook, right? You could link them off Twitter messages as well. And then you want to make sure the descriptions, when you put up these videos, that they're optimized and that you put a link back to your website in that description or your blog, if you have a blog and, and not a website. And the reason that's important, that's good for search engine optimization because YouTube is an, is an authority because of who YouTube is. And so um, leveraging that to uh, have a relevant link is uh, very important. Company blog. You should uh, establish a company blog. Um, there's some, uh, you know, the the there's some great easy to use blog platforms out there: Blogger, TypePad, and you know, WordPress. Um, and uh, you know, you especially in the interior design vertical, there is you have so much knowledge to share. You may have a a, a specific expertise. Um, you know, you really don't get overwhelmed by, you know, it's hard the first time to sit down and say, you know, what am I, what am I going to write about? But, you know, pick some themes, um, but helpful expert content, it should be 
original. Um, you could do some things like lists, the top ten, you know, best uh, fabrics for, you know, something. Um, and then, you know, any kind of updates. And last but not least, link this to your other social media. So we had talked about having your blog linked um, from uh, your LinkedIn. You'd want to put it in your Facebook profile and that sort of thing. Uh, Google Places. So Google Places is the listing. So let's say this, this listing, here's this capital lighting in Boca. When I go into um, Google and I type in lighting in Boca Raton and the listings come up um, with all the businesses and uh, with the maps. That, that is the Google Places page. Um, so most of what Google has done is they basically pre-populated everybody's Google Places page. So you need to go in there and claim your Google, Google Places page if you have a physical uh, location. If you don't, there's ways to sort of work around that, but it's more for physical locations. So for instance, we've optimized all the capital lighting Google Places pages. So they go through a verification process so not just anybody off the street can do it. Um, and you want to optimize the description. We're going to use the content we've used in Facebook and LinkedIn and Twitter, right? All these descriptions might be shorter, might be a snippet, um, you know, might, but it's not like you have to recreate the wheel every time. You want to add the same images, photos, and videos. You can also have promotional messaging there. If you do have some kind of offer, free consultation or whatever, you can promote that in, uh, in your Google Places. Um, you want to encourage clients and associates to submit reviews. This is a big place where people are looking at reviews on companies. So you want people to review you on uh, Google Places as well. And then the last point is consider Google Tags. That's their paid, um, this, is, uh, this is $25 a month, so it's not expensive. And basically what this does is in the listing, it gives you this little sponsored tag. And then in the map, your little, I call it the teardrop, um, has, you know, is more prominent than, uh, than your competitors. So, um, it's not expensive, and it just it it just makes you stand out uh, in the crowd there. And I actually had a comment the other evening from somebody who came to the event who who thought that that little tag meant that Google endorsed it, and they must be better. So I thought that was kind of interesting. And she said I would only click on that. Um, so now we're going to talk about some exciting things that we're doing um, at Capital Lighting with social media. Um, new opportunities for, for this year. Um, the first thing is our expert finder, which is our pro directory. So I'm assuming that everybody on the call is a member of our pro program, because you can't be in our directory unless you're in our pro program, which is free and has tons of great benefits, and we're always adding new and exciting features to our pro program. Um, our expert finder has launched, and I'm going to go into a little bit more detail on that in just a couple minutes. The next thing we're going to be rolling out sometime in the second quarter is we've got a few things um, that we're going to be introducing. The first is going to be our weekly featured social media guest host. That would be you. You would have the opportunity to have a featured blog at Capital Lighting on our blog uh, to, uh, face, to be a part of our Facebook and our Twitter. So. Um, that's one, uh, one program we're rolling out. The second will be our monthly feature designer on our expert finder. Um, the, the next one is a monthly Q&A chat event um, that will either be on Facebook or Twitter. Um, for any of you who are really active in Twitter, you may have been to Twitter parties and that, and that sort of thing, and it may take the shape of that as well. Um, we're also uh, going to be launching quarterly consumer webinars that you could be a guest uh, expert um, on, for Capital Lighting, just kind of like I'm for uh, for you guys. You could do it for from a 
consumer perspective. Um, and as I said, we're going to be launching these in, uh, you know, towards the end of the second quarter. And uh, you'll be uh, getting more details uh, of uh, these programs in our weekly pro emails that I'm sure you all get and you love them. Um, so let's talk a little bit about Expert Finder. This is our new pro feature. Um, it's free. It's part of our pro program. It's a consumer directory of experts, of interior design um, and trade experts. And this will give you access to our over 150,000 people who visit our site every month. And as I said, this is free. Um, and so you want to put your best foot forward. Again, we're all talking about the same content. You want to have a very robust profile. You want to have a great designer description. You want to have work samples and images. You want to have your awards and publications, your contact information, and you want to link to your website and blog. Oh, and by the way, as we discussed before, a little added benefit to that is that will help you with your SEO because Capital Lighting would be an authority and would be a relevant link. So that will help you um, with your SEO as well. We've got a uh, video tutorial, and at the end of this, I'm just going to show you uh, some of the stuff on the website, but we have a real uh, 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 easy to follow video tutorial. It's, I think it's how to set up an expert finder in five minutes. And um, so we would uh, love to have, uh, have all of you participate in, uh, in our expert finder. Uh, this was I, the I couldn't help it slide. Um, just some other social media channels. They're big things that you should just you know, if anything, just check them out. Um, but uh, other location-based services, Foursquare, that's the that's the 800-pound gorilla. I believe they have 5 million members. I might not be quoting the exact right number right now, but it's significant. Um, review sites. Uh, Yelp is the largest review site um, on the web, and, uh, you know, if there was a second review site after Google Places, I would suggest Yelp. Um, also, article syndication. As you're creating content, expert content, you can also syndicate all this content through syndication services. If you remember that the quadrant in that landscape um, uh, slide was about content distribution and dissemination. So article syndication is part of that. Webinars, what we're doing today, this is a form of social media. And then mobile, which uh, we'll save for another time, but, you know, mobile, uh, it, it, we, we talked about being device agnostic. Um, you know, mobile is continuing to build and grow, and we just need to understand how that impacts our business. So um, connecting your social media. So, you know, we've talked a lot about just really the big guys. LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, right? And the little Google there. But all of this stuff works together. So, it, and whether it's with content or links or, or that sort of thing. So, um, to make it a little easier, um, there are services like OnlyWire or Hootsuite that you can automate and schedule messages across all your social channels so that you're not having to go, I got to go to Facebook, I got to go to Twitter. I got to go to LinkedIn. And that maybe you do them all on a Monday and you schedule them for that week, um, you know, just from, a, from an organizational perspective. Um, integrate, um, you know, the, the, your social media on your website or your blog. You know, follow us on Facebook, follow us on LinkedIn, follow us uh, on Twitter, see our YouTube channel, read our blog. Um, and consider adding your social media to your email signature. So, um, you know, big guiding principle. If you can't track it, don't do it. And the good news is it's that all of this activity, because you want to see what's working and what's not working. So make sure you track and analyze all your efforts, and you just want to establish some goals, some what I like, you know, what every kind of the standard term KPIs, key performance indicators. Um, you can implement Google Analytics um, to monitor your website. That's free. 
It's absolutely free, um, and it's not hard to do that either. So you'd need somebody with some technical, um, you know, some technical savvy, but it's not hard to implement that. And that way you could track how much traffic you get to your website or your blog, how many visitors, and where are they coming from? Are they coming from Facebook? Are they coming from LinkedIn? Are they coming from the search? Are they coming from Google, right? And uh, the, the next thing is establish Google alerts for your company to monitor what's being said about you. Um, and it's very easy to do that. If you just go into Google, if you haven't set those up before, just go into um, Google uh, the, into Google search and put in Google alerts and click on that link and it'll tell you how to set it up. You basically put in the keyword and your email address. So it's pretty, uh, it's pretty easy. And um, you know the other thing that you could consider using, there are some specific social media monitoring services. I use social mention. It's free. They have a paid version. I just use the free version. But I think you could probably, you know, just to try to keep it simple, you could probably to get started just use uh, Google Alerts because Google Alerts have now started to pick up all the social media stuff. That wasn't that was like a recent change in the last few months. So now they seem to be picking up a lot more. So you might not need that, um, you know, the the, the additional service. So some of my uh, favorite resources, I mean, this stuff is changing every day. I mean, I do this for a living, and I have a hard time keeping up, um, but it's really fun. Um, but my favorites are, um, you know, in daily newsletters, um, Mashable. Uh, they really uh, are, I believe, at the forefront of everything going on in, in digital. I mean, they just kind of have an angle. Um, but I have found uh, that, that that information has been very useful. And then just from a digital marketing perspective, eMarketer is good um, from, uh, to give you uh, insight on trends and data and, and that sort of thing. And then, as I mentioned earlier, there are some great groups on LinkedIn, including in social media. So it could be social media specific to a topic that you're interested in, or design, or you know anything, uh, anything like that. So, in summary, uh, just embrace social media as a key part of your business. Your really your marketing strategy, because <coughs> your competitors are already doing it, and so if you you just you won't be front and center. You need to lead by example within your organization. Um, and you do have to allocate resources. I know some of you are probably thinking, wow, how am I going to, you know, I'm already busy, how, how am I going to do this? But um, you have to make time and, you know, maybe on Facebook you don't post every day, but do it three times a week. Yeah, commit to something. But it needs to be, you need a, either an internal resource or you could outsource. There are people like companies like us. There's plenty of people like us. We're the best, but that's okay. You could use somebody else. Uh, to, uh, I, sorry, I, I just had to give myself a, a little plug. You're correct. You are correct. <laughs> and uh, it, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, integrate the concept of, and we talked about it at the beginning, Casting a wider net, because that what, that's what this is really all about. Uh, measure your results, stay educated, and last but not least, please, please, please have fun. Um, as I mentioned, I'm going to have this uh, presentation um, on uh, my LinkedIn, on my slide share. So if you want to link in with me, um, do me a favor. Make sure you don't send me the generic message. Write something nice. I remember, uh, you don't know me, but I was on your webinar, and I loved it. Loved you were, it. Uh, you were amazing. Um, Scintillating. And, uh, and, okay. And, and okay. Uh, Georgie, just, just, uh, I do want to uh, I have at least one question that has come in, and I, I want, uh, we only got a few minutes left, so I do want to get to a question. If okay. anybody on, on the call has, there is a question box on your, on your dock station that has the information about the, uh, uh, 
the webinar. Uh, one question did come in. Uh, it's, it asks, can you separate your Facebook so business people don't see your personal and vice versa? Uh, it's a good question because people have you know high school friends and, and people that have no problem posting embarrassing things about them uh, right on Facebook that if they have a, per, a, a professional persona and they have business uh, uh, contacts on there, they, they probably prefer that not be seen by those people. So should yeah, you have I, you, two Facebook you, accounts? Well, if you have, okay, so to create a business page, you have to have a personal profile. But th that doesn't mean that people who fan your, um, your business page can see your personal profile. So you can have a, a personal page and and a professional page. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Your business uh, page, your company page. Great. Um, another another question came in. Oh, I'm happy about this one. How how do you set up your expert finder? Is is a question. How do we set up your expert finder? I love that question. I do. So okay. So, um, what, uh, you just uh, to... since you're since you're in control, as you always like to be, um, why don't you show uh, quickly on the videos? Uh, go to the videos, yeah. and and there is a quick, so we yeah. don't have to hold everybody up if people have it uh, already set up. But if you right. go under Here's videos, video. click under yeah. channels, and you see one tab is just for pros. You're going to see a gorgeous looking guy in a small little box. Yeah, that guy on the left, that's me. Um, I created that video, how to create your expert finder um, profile in five minutes. Um, that's all it takes. It takes five minutes to, to, to one, you have to be a pro. Um, hopefully all of you are pros on, on either Capital Lighting's uh, in-store pro or, or an online pro. But once you are set up as a pro, you, you go in. And, and just go on to uh, set up my expert finder and, and get your, the only thing that you have to do ahead of time is have your images ready. Your room shots, your logo, your profile picture. Hopefully you have those um, all in a, in a you know, folder or someplace that you know where it's at. Because that, that's the only thing that, that is a little time consuming if you don't have it already. Um, but otherwise it, it really does take five minutes just to load up the images. And you also see on my website now it is it is live and in front that find your expert right there at the top and off there on the right expert finder somebody clicks that if you want to just click it and show them what happens people put in their zip code and within 25 miles or 50 miles or if they need and then they search our directory if you are an expert finder in their area you are going to come up uh, there's there's a couple of featured and then if you scan down it is by uh, location so uh, there's a few people here that have set up their, their expert finder profiles, but they haven't put in a personal photo. I urge you, photos are the most important thing that people are looking for online. Uh, people don't read. They, they want to see pictures. You know, if the picture is intriguing, then they'll take the next step and, and read what, what you're about. But certainly a, 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 an attractive logo, a good per, uh, profile picture, and, and room scenes are, are, are the paramount thing that people are going to quickly look at. And then if you got them intrigued, They'll, uh, they'll read more about you, and hopefully they can con and contact you. They can contact you directly right from the website. They can send a message to you or go to your, uh, go to your personal website or call you on the phone. Um, this is strictly a facilitation for 1-800 lighting customers and our pros. Again, completely free. Um, any other questions? I don't see any other questions. So uh, we're just under the hour mark. I want to thank everybody for uh, joining us today. And as, uh, I, I, we're going to continue this uh, webinar series. Any um, comments or questions that you have after, you all have my email address at eric at 1-800-LIGHTING um, or info at 1-800-LIGHTING. They'll all come to me. Uh, ideas for webinars that, that you would find useful. Um, and any, and jo as Georgie said, we're, we're going to have guest, guest bloggers if you'd like to take part in that. Uh, please, uh, when you get our emails, open them up. Uh, and, and, and check out what we're talking about in there. Uh, we are really trying to build your business as we build our business. It, it's a true partnership, and, and hopefully you'll find a, a great value in it and uh, continue uh, to keep coming back to Capital Lighting and 1-800 Lighting. Please, look, please always let us know how you could help. Any, any final words, uh, Georgie? Uh, no. Uh, thank you uh, very much, and hopefully uh, I'll have the opportunity to uh, be in your social network. So 
reach out and link in with me. I like to have lot, lots of LinkedIn friends. I'm kind of a lonely person. Um, <laughs> Okay. Very good. We, 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 we all need... Have a great weekend. Thank you, Georgie. You too. Thanks, everybody. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.